morning, uh, Konbanwa, I hope you're well. Um, Genki desu ka? I uh, hope you're Genki Des and doing fine. Um, I will just turn the sound down on this thing because otherwise it's going to lots and lots of back feedback. And make sure this one's done up. So I'm hoping you can hear me okay. Uh, just let the dog in. Hi, son. Come in. Come in. Come in. In. Good girl. Us. Come on, what? Again. Uh, Holly Sun that's joined me in the dojo. Are you okay? Yeah, you can help. There's a good girl, aren't you? So Holly's going to help you this evening uh, by getting in the way. Um, so uh, welcome to uh, another Tuesday evening. Um, I hope you, uh, as I say earlier, are doing well. Um, tonight we're going to do Kihon, so we're going to go back to basics um, and uh, just uh, kind of do building blocks. So basically looking at our grading system, the way that we grade students from 10th Q through to Shodan, okay, uh, and just showing you how we build those techniques um, together. Uh, and I hope it, hope it help, helps you understand, particularly if you're a Q grade, that it's all about developmental blocks. So I think that's the really important thing that I want to, um, to kind of get you to understand this evening is about how we build karate by layering. As similar to as I've said previously through through Lego etc. Um, I'm just going to let Holly out. She's decided she doesn't want to train this evening. That's right. And I think she might be a little bit of a pain this evening. Um, so um, that's that's the, the plan for this evening. Just a couple of things um, uh, before we get started and before we say hello to to everybody. Um, I hope those of you that joined us on Saturday with the Kita Sensei really enjoyed it. Um, I was very lucky, my family let me take over the whole of the living room, so I had a great training session. I've got to be honest, um, I sweated a lot and my son said it stank in there afterwards, but I had a great hour, really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I've put up a little video on that uh, on our channel so people can see, but Akita Sensei's put the whole thing on his YouTube channel, uh, which is um, uh, Akita's Dojo, uh, you can find it on YouTube. and. Uh, You'll see it there, um, and hopefully, you know, if, you, if you've not trained with us live on Saturday, then you can train on your own in your own leisure. Um, some really good things there that we did, I think, and I really enjoyed it on, on Saturday. Um, so we're doing something of a similar sort of theme, I guess, in some ways, because we're doing Kion. A um, couple other things, uh, I've been putting loads of stuff on YouTube. Um, our YouTube channel is Asahi Shotokan Karate, and um, uh, some of those are doing like a basics series, so just individual techniques and some uh, context, background about how to do them, what they are for, etc, etc. So I've started filming that series. I've got nine videos, I think, to put up. I've put three so far. So that's all incoming, so you'll be able to watch those. Um, I'll always put links on our uh, uh, Facebook page as well. Um, and it's just really just trying to keep connected with everybody and hopefully keeping your interest in, in the lovely uh, thing that we do called Shotokan. Um, update in terms of getting back to the dojos. Uh, I just had an email this afternoon. Um, there is still no change for us, I'm afraid, at this moment in time. Um, we can now meet into certain small groups outside. Um, if I can find a venue where I can get a few people together, we might be able to do that. But unfortunately, our insurance at this moment in time is not uh, going to be covering that, and nor is the uh, governing body. So uh, that's problematic. Um, but um, we will continue this online system at the moment until the schools, I think, are fully open, which is when we'll hopefully get back to the dojos properly. Um, so we'll do a quick warm up. It's incredibly hot this evening. I don't know if it is where you are, but um, uh, in, certainly in my dojo in the kitchen, um, one, we've been cooking again, and two, it's um, just really, really hot. So we're going to work at slow speed, uh, paying attention to detail, to technique more than anything else. Um, but obviously, you know, have a go at the best of your ability in the area and space that you've got. Um, okay, so first of all, Kyotsuki, so heels together, toes point and hands on both sides. And ready? Awesome. Okay, so we'll do a quick warm up and then we'll say hello to a few people and get the lesson going. So just arms forwards, just relax those shoulders. Okay, going backwards. Arm stretching. Okay, just twisting around, let the arms just relax. And twisting further around, that lowering your sort of uh, leg stance. Okay, good. So left arm forward, right arm back. 
change. So make sure right arm forward, left arm back. Okay, hands on your shoulders and just rotating forwards. And rotating back. And fast forwards. And back fast. Okay, it's me, some cheap go, rock, shish, hutch, cool, It's me, some cheap go, rock, shish, hutch, cool, It's me, some cheap go, rock, shish, hutch, cool, and you. Okay, so it's me, some cheap go, rock, sitch, hutch, cool, and you. Excellent, and relax. Okay, front stance, in front of the Make sure you're stretching, stretch your hamstring and your gastrocnemius, which is your calf muscle. Twist it away. Good. Change it to kibirachi. Okay, uh, um, sorry, not kibirachi. Open, open leg stance. Bend your knees ever so slightly and just slip into the right. So slide into the right. Pushing down. And change to the other side. Pushing down. And then come into a wide kibirachi, wide the normal. Bend your knees, bend your hips. And go over to the right, and over to the left. Straighten your legs, hands on the floor, back straight. Slowly come up, and up to the top and over to your left. And over to your right. And behind. Right knee up, okay, and stretch in with the right foot out. Hold, 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 knee in, and back down. And take your left leg and left foot out. Hold, 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 and back and down. Okay, and just flick in the feet, kick in my yeri ten times. Ish. Me, some, she, walk, walk, sit, hunt, cool, and you. <coughs> hey, 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 hey. And us. Okay, you should be warm enough, I think. Train game, maybe. Thank you, skate. Hey, Brady, us. Okay, so let's quickly say hello to a few people, because there's a few people watching now. Um, oh, quite a few people. Uh, good evening, Tim. Good evening, uh, Christian and Zach. Good evening, Andy Sensei. Um, us. Uh, good evening, Hutspool family. Good evening, Wayne. Good evening, Harry. Good evening, Ken Sensei. Good evening, Sharon Sensei. Good evening, Isaac. Good evening, Bron and uh, Dylan. Good evening, uh, Roebuck family. Us. And uh, us, Harry M. Hope you're well. Great. Harry had a good second of the Gita. Good lads. Well done, you, mate. I bet you were sweaty after that. Uh, uh, good evening, uh, Wayne. Uh, ready to rock and roll and feeling like a well-cooked chicken already. I think that's very true, Wayne. Me too. Good evening, Thomas. Son. Good evening, Kayla. And uh, Bron is saying Zoom. Is that like just because it's a cool word or because we should be doing Zoom? Uh, yes, there's a possibility. Um, in my room, it's not, it is that hot that I could cook. Good. So we're all really going to roast this evening. So everything's going to be done slow speed. So please don't go too silly, take your time, pay attention to the small details, and don't overdo things. And if you've got a drink of water nearby, then uh, please feel free to dip out and uh, take a drink of that. Okay, so, right. So with our Shotokan Karate uh, syllabus, the way that it's, uh, I guess, um, engineered is to help a beginner, white belt, to go from that position there to black belt, over an undetermined period of time. And what we do is we start off by teaching an individual basic, okay, similar to the videos that I'm putting on YouTube, just one basic. And then after we've spent time practicing that, so we were, say, a white belt, we then will take, say, blue belt and continue that, and then continue into red belt, and it may be an orange belt, continue that. So over a period of year, we practice that singular technique. Then, second year, we start to add in another technique or techniques 
Okay. Third year, we add in more complicated techniques to, to develop that technique. So we're kind of layering all the time, building, building up. Okay. But we must remember the foundation must remember secure and safe. Okay, and always go back to that. So, you know, I constantly revisit my basics uh, and they've changed over the, over the years uh, dramatically in the way that I do things. Um, and they change with age, they change with your size, ability, injury, um, and all sorts of different factors. Uh, uh, where we are, our environment can change the way that we train. So it's important to understand that some days you have good days, other days you not have good days. So let's start with Agiyuki, so upper rising block. So bow, us, hey oi. Okay, so from the yoi position here, we're just going to step forward, get Ambarai to start. Itch. Okay, we'll do more on get Ambarai in, in a short while. So our Agi Uki technique then. So we'll start with the basic block itself. Left hand, don't put it too far away from the body, okay? Just above the head here, um, not too close to the face, but imagine it's an Agi Uki. Okay, so here. Remember, as we come through this position, this is a yoi position. Remember that yoi is that ready uh, sort of halfway position here, okay, we come through, feet, feet pretty much together, we punch up, and we block, and our hips change to a me. okay, so this is a hip square, okay, so both hip bones, right and left, here, hammy is half facing, now my knee doesn't twist with it, and my shoulders don't twist with it, my, my hips twist, okay, so it's my hips that are twisting, so when you do the majority of the blocks we're doing tonight, you'll be in hand half facing, if, if you can do it, okay? But um, it, it, important to um, understand that your hips aren't square, okay? So from, from the Gidambarai position again, your position here, come through and block. Remember, we're not blocking like this. This is a mawashi, this is no, no good, it won't be effective at all from a punch to the face. So again, from Gidambarai position here, Agiyuki, come through, upper rising block, yoi position, come back, upper rising block. Note the fist is slightly higher than the elbow, okay, um, and this is just above my line of sight, okay, so if it's here, I can't see you, uh, the attacker, okay, so that's not a good place. If it's too close to my head here, then I, I, this is no good, I'm going to get punched here. If it's too low, I'm going to get punched here. Um, so it needs to be uh, in, a, in, a, in the right place. Great, great language there. So it needs to be not too far away, not too close. Your shoulder shouldn't be up. Your shoulder should be down. Okay, so although Akiyuki is, uh, means up a rising block, um, it's not with a shoulder. Now I know for a fact that when I started karate, all my Akiyukis were like this with your shoulder up, because we all do that. So just work, again, as I say, at your own, own level. So regardless whether you're a white belt or, or a ninth down, it's immaterial. So ready? You wait. Step forward, get amber right. Itch. Okay, so Agi Uki, stepping forward. Itch. Hey, and step back, knee. And step forward, son. Hey, she. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hotch. Ko. Henju. Ear. And Yame. Amre Os. Enoi. Okay, so you can see Agiyuki there, uh, you'll probably notice I'm putting Kimei at the end of my technique. So that's just something that I'm personally working on at the moment, and that is trying to relax through my technique and just Kimei at the end. Okay, uh, obviously the last few weeks I've been trying to teach you about Kimei, Shimei and Hikati, sorry Hikate. Easy for me to say, I'm struggling with my words this evening. But that's, that's what I want to, to do, is emphasise Kimei. Kimei is the end, the end, the finish, the point of contact. Okay, so it has to be strong. So I'm kind of overemphasizing that for you to, to hopefully understand. I hope that's coming across uh, okay on camera and you can see that. So that's the singular block. We teach that to a white, blue, red, and orange belt. Okay, and um, oh, we've got some new people. Good evening, Alex and Lee. Us, us. Um, and Dylan said that we should do it by Zoom. Yeah, no, thanks. Thanks to that. I'll try and do it. Okay, um, so. 
uh, ag agouk on its own, white through red, blue uh, and, and, and orange. Okay, Th then we move on to our, our next sort of like grading colours, it were, yellow and green. So then we change the block. Okay, so we no longer do a singular block, so we bow, and we yoi, and step forward, get amber eye, itchia. Okay, now to, it kind of doesn't make sense, but it will make sense, I promise you, in a, in a short while as to, as to where we kind of change here. So we do an angiyuki, upper rising block, we come through angiyuki, and we complete that with a gyakuzuki. And then just to get back to the, like, down, the, the next position, we do a gidambarai damber block. Okay, so we're doing three techniques now. So we've gone from one to three. Okay, and step back, agiyuki, gakazuki, and gidambarai. Okay, so come forward, agiyuki, gakazuki. Notice my hips square off here, and gidambarai, the hips come back to hand me. Hand me half facing 45 degrees, that sort of thing. Step back, Hagiyuki, Gakazuki, Gidambarai, Hand me. So, three techniques from one, I think, is quite a step. And, uh, you know, quite often we take uh, juniors at a very young age, you know, we take them from four years old. Most people say I'm crazy for doing that, but I believe that I can teach uh, anybody karate. Um, first few years of your formative life are fun. So in Japan, they have babies in the dojo, they run around in between your feet, and I know that well, very well. And, and they're picking up, so they're learning by, by having fun, running around, not in dogies, they're just in normal clothes. And um, that's why I think you can easily take somebody from the age of four and show them agiyuki. Um, likewise, you could have a 60-year-old who would struggle with agiyuki. So, so age becomes immaterial, but what you do is you start with that sort of basic learning at whatever age that person comes into. Once we've formed that sort of first year of 12 months, we can then start adding in the other techniques. Now the reason that we add in Agyuki Gakazuki, because they follow nicely, and then the Gidambarai is just to get you back to the beginning position, so you know where you are. Because you start here, and if you finish here, you're ready for the next one. So from a mindset perspective, that makes it easier to learn. And so that's why this comes in at yellow and green belts. Okay, so I'll show you again. Oops. Step forward, get down right, itch, <coughs> Okay, so a white belt, blue belt, we'll do an agiyuki, just like so. And a yellow, sorry, white, blue, red, orange, a yellow and green belt, agiyuki. Agiyuki, gakazuki, get down right. Ayyami. So moving on then to more purple belt level. Okay, so this is somebody who's been training a good couple of years now. Okay, so Ray and step four, get under right. <coughs> now they're going back to two techniques. Agyuki, <coughs> Gyakazuki. Adjust those two. Agyuki, <coughs> Gyakazuki. Now you might wonder why, why go back? Why go one, three, and back to two? Well, if you notice, okay, and this is where it gets very complicated, we... Um, change, change in position. We have to think about, we have to change our arms. So we step forward, yeah. blocking and punching. We can't block that arm again. We're not even getting right. So we have to, remember that this is the, the uh, we have to not use this arm again. So this is now here. So we have to think about changing our arms. And that's the key difference here. So when taking away a technique, but making it more complicated because you have to remember to change your arms. Change your arms. Akita Sensei did a very good lesson on this, uh, particularly at the weekend. I thoroughly enjoyed it the way he got us doing um, just some of these basic blocks, um, which form part of our syllabus, which is a good thing. So, white belt, blue, red, orange, just the block, yellow, green, block, and um, uh, punch, and then a downward block, and then higher grades, purple belts, block and punch only. So, let's do all three. Step forward, get down right, one of each. Each. So one agiyuki, ish, and one back, ni. And agiyuki, gakazuki, gidambarai, itch. Everything slow tonight. And then agiyuki, gakazuki. Remember to change your arms. And yami. And ready. Awesome. Hey, oi. And step forward down, uh, 
um, uh, Mickey, right leg, step forward, each. Okay, so again, Agyuki, and back Agyuki. Agyuki, Yakuzuki, get on right. Agyuki, Yakuzuki, get on right. Agyuki, Yakuzuki. Agyuki, Yakuzuki. Hey, yo, man. Okay, so again, two years training there, we're up to that stage of blocking and punching and understanding to change the arms, we get back to the jacu all the time for the punch. Then we go into the brown belt level and brown belts, we put in another technique, okay, we put in another technique that makes things, again, a little bit more challenging, um, but not so difficult, but, but again, another basic kihon technique. So, uh, ready? Yui. And step forward, get on right. Ichi ya! So this time we're going to do Agiyuki, as before, but this time Maigeri Gyakuzuki. Agiyuki Maigeri Gyakuzuki. Change the arms. So that connection point is still there, plus an additional kick. So you can see this is more advanced than uh, the purple belt and yellow and green belt syllabus. Agiyuki Maigeri Gyakuzuki. Okay, and your mate. So, us. so again, let's use the building blocks of, of the grades, the coloured belts. Okay, so right. And step forward, get down right, come on. Each. Okay, so first one is Agiyuki, each. And step back, Agiyuki, me. Okay, and again, Agiyuki, each. Gyakuzuki, get down And back, each. Agiyuki, Gyakuzuki, get down Ish Agiyuki Gyakuzuki. Step back, Ich Agiyuki Gyakuzuki. Remember to change those arms. Then Agiyuki Maigeri Gyakuzuki. Step back, Agiyuki Maigeri Gyakuzuki. Hey, Yamai. Now change legs, Ich. So again, on the opposite side now, so uh, when our right leg is forward, Migi, okay, and remember your left side is Hidari. We tend to stay, uh, step down with Hidari leg forward all the time uh, in Shotokan Karate, but we must switch, must change up, must change up. So from Gidan Burai position here, from our starting position, Agiyuki, back Agiyuki. Agiyuki, punch Gyakuzuki, take Gidan Burai. Agiyuki, Yakuzuki, Gidan Burai. Agiyuki, Gyakuzuki. Change the arms. Agiyuki, Gyakuzuki. Agiyuki, Maigeri Gyakuzuki. Agiyuki, Maigeri Gyakuzuki. And Yamai. 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 Okay. So that forms our grading syllabus in terms of Agiyuki, right the way from a beginner walking into the dojo for the first time, to a person taking their black belt for the first time. Okay, which could be, I think, probably minimum amount of time I'd say would be four, four and a half years. Um, but more realistically for the majority of people, it takes about five years to get to black belt, but it could take 20 years, okay? Um, I, I know people who have trained for, for nearly 30 years and have never got to black belt. Uh, people who have never even graded, but still train. So, you know, it's, it's, it's an individual thing. There's no time uh, limit or limitation to, to how long it takes, etc. But I do believe that everybody can get to black belt. I think uh, that's really, really important that, uh, um, you know, we're a uh, welcome all dojo. And I believe that there isn't anybody who can't get to black belt. It's ultimately their choice, though. <laughs> So I can, uh, and the instructors can show them the way, but uh, it's their, their choice to choose it, I guess, and find their way and get to their black belt. Um, I've got black belts with me at the moment who uh, will turn around and say that as a white belt, they would never have thought they'd have got there. And I would have told you exactly the same <laughs> because they, they're probably like me, weren't very good to start with, but their persistency, their consistency and their effort and their spirit has got them to that level of black belt, which I think is the most incredible thing about karate. And then they, having got that far, are relearning again from the beginning and understanding now how fantastic it is to be a black belt, because it is very, very cool. 
Okay, right. Well, so next technique then, soft hold yuki. Soft hold yuki. Okay, so right. Uh, key, key thing here with soft hold yuki, okay, is, is the yoi position. Okay, so before our arm was here, this is an indication of where the ag yuki is going. Okay, and likewise, this one is where the soft hold yuki is going. So the arm is just, just out natural. I, I call this natural, okay? So sort of just let it straight, straight. Soto Yuki, bring, bring it up to the side, I think. Not, not too high, not too far behind, certainly not here. Okay, so in line, if you think, uh, sort of, show she gums, that sort of thing, yeah? Okay, here, and, and across the body, it comes across the body, here. And, and this all finishes in the centre, along your embusen. So don't stop here, and don't come here. Okay, both, both of these are pull. So here, your position, hand up to here. Centre here. And again, when we're in stance, we will be in hammy. Hammy, half facing. Remember, if you're blocking, you don't want to give them the whole target. You want to reduce that by, by shifting your body. Okay, so Taisabaki, body movement. By shifting your body, you give less of a target. Wider, not as wide. I guess if you've got a bit of a tummy, then you know, maybe it's a little bit different when you turn high hand me. Um, ah, Debbie Skip is watching, finally, about time. Uh, us, wifey, uh, 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 Debbie son. Um, so, us, we are um, going to do Soto Yuki forwards. Okay, so wait. Right. And again, you'll see the difference as you change through the grades, we change through the years of training. Us. You always step forward, get Amorai. Okay, so so Soto Uryuki. Yoi position, step forward through and ia, blocking hand me, half facing. Each coming back and forwards again. Ni and back, sun. And forwards, each. Ni. So this yoi position will help you understand which arm to put out. So my way of remembering this is. Left leg forward, left arm out. This arm must be the blocking arm. Okay, and that's me thinking as a beginner, and the way I used to teach myself, whichever leg's forward, that arm was out, this arm was blocking. And that way, I wouldn't get confused. And I used to put my arms up ready for my next technique. Now, some sensei's might like that, and some will. So, you, you pretty much do as you need to. But it's important for you to learn. So, if that's your way of learning, then I think that's absolutely okay. So, hand me. Yoi position, here. Yoi position, here. Hand me. Not shoulders, not all the way around, not blocking here. Hips, hips are not square, hips are hand me. Half, half facing. Hey, yeah, mate. And ready. Awesome. Okay, so that's again what we'd be teaching uh, a beginner. Uh, a tenth Q blue belt, a ninth Q red belt, eighth Q orange belt. Okay, so you will be doing that basic in your grading. Okay, that'll probably be the second or third technique you do. In fact, it's third. Okay, so right, let's see what the yellow and green belt system looks like. Step forward, get and right, itch, yeah. Okay, so again, soto uriyuki, but following a similar format as previous with the abyuki, come through soto uriyuki, gyakazuki, Get Amberai. Soto Ryuki, Giyakazuki, Gidamberai. Yoi position. Soto Ryuki, Giyakazuki, so hip squares in. Hammy, half facing Gidamberai. Soto Ryuki, Giyakazuki, Gidamberai. Okay, so. Yoi position, step forward. Each one, two, three techniques. One, two, three. And yummy. From, from a grading perspective, we're looking at the uh, completion of all three of those techniques. I find that sometimes we get with um, people that are slightly overzealous, and that's the majority of the juniors, okay, that they kind of flick everything. <gasps> Okay, rather than stopping one, two, three. This might be slower, but actually it, you're, you're understanding your techniques correctly. Soto Yuki strong, Kazuki strong, Kiyambarai strong. I would rather see that done in that slow way. Techniques are still quite fast, but I'd rather see that done than I would see somebody who's just blurring the lines. 
and just not completing any technique. So every technique has to be completed. It's the same for kata, and actually it's the same for kumite. Yeah, if you don't commit to your technique in kumite, you're never score, you're never going to win, you're never going to be able to defend yourself. So, so I think that's really a really important thing to understand. Okay, so right. So let's build on this then. So let's step forward, get on right. Ich, soto ruki forwards, ich, soto ruki back. Soto ruki ich, gyakazuki, and gidamburai. Ni, soto ruki, gyakazuki, gidamburai. Soto ruki, soto ruki, soto ruki, gyakazuki, gidamburai. Soto ruki, gyakazuki, hey, gidamburai. Hey, yummy. And you know, notice that the format that we've kept these basic key on blocks, and yuki, soto yuki, yuchi yuki, gidamburai, and shutuki, the five major blocks, we keep that format throughout your gradings. So you, so you start to build in your brain this little kind of Lego uh, set of techniques. Um, and, and that's again for, I guess you could say it's almost for simplicity's sake, but why make it complicated? When all we need to see is you understanding and you doing correctly the technique. Um, so so you, you could put in loads of other things. And in fact, part of me did think about teaching you a 12 move combination, which I've taught before to students this evening. And uh, yes, I'll do that, but not, not tonight. And I think, um, you know, whilst that can be great fun because it's very challenging on the brain, it's more about thinking here than it is anything else, um, you will definitely, after three or four of those, start not doing techniques correctly. Okay, so that would be a different type of learning for a different reason, if that makes sense, and I'll explain that another time. So, right, let's move on. Purple belts. Step forward, get on right. Ich. <coughs> Okay, so, soto ryuki, ich, and gyakuzuki, ki. Soto ryuki, ich, gyakuzuki, ki. Yoi position, soto ryuki, ich. Soto ryuki, i. Hai, yamai. So again, you can see that Agiyuki Gakazuki for purple belts changes to Soto Yuki Gakazuki. So we're keeping that same format. Again, we've gone from three techniques to two. The reason being is that we then have to remember to change the arm. Now, I do this naturally now, and I don't even think about it, and I don't even um, ever need to question myself. But I can assure you that as a white belt, right the way through to, I would say, definitely purple belt, I really struggled with this whole changing your arms over. And um, I, I found that particularly difficult. My brain just could not get used to the fact that you had to swap arms. So I had to find a way of teaching myself to do that um, and to, to, to enable me to understand it. Okay? And me, it was like, whichever leg is out, that has to be the blocking arm. That's the only way I can remember. But you need to find your way of remembering that techniques. Okay. So, right. So let's build on those, let's do all three. So we'll do the white, blue, red, and orange belt, and then we'll do the yellows and greens, and then we'll do the purple belts. Okay, ready? Hey, you wait. And step four, get on the right. Ich, here. So soto ruki, ish. And soto ruki back, ni. Soto ruki, gakazuki, get on the right. Ich. Hey, soto ruki, gakazuki, get on the right. Purple belts. Soto Yakazuki. Change Soto Yakazuki. Yeah. Alright. So this used to be my least favourite block and is definitely my favourite block. Uh, a kill, basic block it is definitely. Okay, so then we become a brown belt and things change completely. <laughs> okay, things I think this next combination is my favourite Kion combination ever. I absolutely love doing it, I thoroughly enjoy it, I enjoy teaching it, and um, for me, when I became a Brett about this, work, this meant I was a karate cut. I truly, truly believe that um, this is where things change. So let's have a bit of fun and do this one. So ready? So if you're a lower grade, just have a little bit of fun with this, because it really is good fun. Step forward, get on right. Itch! Yeah. So we are now going to add in multiple techniques. It gets more complicated. It is a bit more challenging, but that's all good fun. So stepping forward, soto ryuki, ich, 
Notice the stance. The Zen Kutsu Dachi. Okay, fun stance. Then I want you to change sliding. Yoku Sui and Puchi, so slide inside elbow. Okay, in Kibidachi. So your stance change now, you're in side stance. So here. So back again. From the Ganambarai position here. Yoi position, soft Kaoyoki. Zen Kutsu Dachi. Don't change this. Keep your form. Remember, every technique is a technique on its own. From here. Yo koin puchi here. Yurakin yakuzuki. Okay, so I'll step back and show you that. So koyuki zenkutsu dachi, fun stance. Change. Yo kosuri and puchi, kibadachi, back stance. Yurakinuchi, fun stance. Yakuzuki, fun stance. Anyway. Okay, awesome. So I love this. <laughs> this is my favourite technique ever. Uh, it's cool, isn't it? So I love the stance change. Be careful. What lots of people do is when they get a little bit clever and cocky and kind of a little bit confident maybe in their technique, they do a sort of bad front stance, bad side stance, bad everything. And they don't understand this. Okay? The connection here is definitely in your head should be front stance, side stance, front stance. And with four techniques now, not three. So more complicated. But actually, I think it fl flows uh, a little bit better. So, right. And your weight. And step forward, get Amber Aikimai. Inch. So, slow speed. Your position, remember, get that starting position. Check your stance. You don't need to look, you just need to feel the floor. Yeah. So, Toyoki, come forwards. Inch. Okay. Then, bring the legs sliding. Yoko in Puchi. Side elbow, side elbow, side stance. Looking still towards where you're attacking. You're racking, get it, okay. Remember, you're racking his back fist. So from this position here, back fist. But, but move as you do it. So this, this is okay, but doesn't have the power of the hip. Hip, so here. Hip, A, and then Gakazuki. So, so our hips are really key to karate. Okay, so uh, Koshi, hips. This is really important, okay, that you start to be able to use these and practice these and change your karate. So in this particular one, we're going from hand me, yeah, we're then changing to side, to sort of a hand me, the opposite way though, and then a gakazuki. So it really is kind of about understanding how to shift your body weight correctly. So we'll do that a couple more times. So step forward, get on the right, each. Right, Soto Uriyuki, Ish, Yoko in Puchi, Ni, Yurakin Gakazuki, Sanshi, Ich, Ni, Sanshi, Yah, Hey, Yamani. So again, we'll do all four of those now. So we'll do the white, blue, red, and orange belt syllabus, yellow and green belt syllabus, purple belt syllabus, brown belt syllabus. Please remember that there are uh, different colour belts within the, the system. So uh, we have green and um, white belt, purple and white belts, and things like that as well, and brown and white belts. So when we say brown belts, we mean all the different brown belts that there are. It doesn't matter, you're still a brown belt, even if you've got a black stripe through it. Okay, so right. Step forward, uh, get on Itch. Okay, so soto yuki. Itch. Amy. Sun, block, punch, and block. Remember, hand me. She, hand me, hand me. Stepping forward, purple belt syllabus, block and punch. Block and punch. Your position, brown belt syllabus, block, elbow, back fist. Soto yuki, yoko suri and puchi, yurakin, yakazuki. Yummy. All right. So again, Soto Juki from beginner to back belt. Progression, building blocks, uh, step by step, step by step. Okay, uh, us uh, Magdalena, good evening. Um, I'm saying us, Debbie. Love that creaky floor you got there. This floor is this, this is concrete. Hmm. 
us. Good evening, Raoul Sensei, us. And good evening, George Sensei from Greece, us. And Belgium and Greece. Okay, so, ready. We probably won't get all five fitted in this evening. I don't want to rush them. I want to get this done correctly so that we all understand uh, where, where we, what we're doing. So, uh, probably Thursday we'll continue with Kihon. Okay, and... Um, I think uh, it's better to do it correctly than, than go too fast. Okay. Right. How you doing? Okay, so our next technique is Uchi Uki. Uchi Uki inside block. Okay, so step forward, get and right, ish. Okay, so different senseis teach this differently. I've, I've noticed that over the years. So some of them will teach it from the hip, some midway, and some underneath the armpit. I've always naturally and always been taught from, from pretty much under here, okay? Um, I get a 90 degree angle correct here, and when I change I get a 90 degree angle correct here. So in my head, that, that completely works. I think when I drop my arm down to my hip, uh, I'm not at the correct angle. This is not the correct angle, okay? And, and so it doesn't work for me. So I think if you're going to do this, it needs to come from at least here, so mid, mid rib cage, okay, or, or here. And I think another thing to point out before we start is most people do this and their shoulders come up. Uh, mine used to do loads. Okay, got better, but, but, but not as bad. So here, let your shoulders relax. So you step through Uchi Uchi. Again, don't over block, don't under block. Okay, your position is the same as before. Let your shoulder drop, put your arm straight. Here, here. Notice it's not just the arm does this, okay? The elbow and the shoulder are connected. So we, we are using our whole forearm to block. Yeah, not just the top part, not just this part here. We, we're connecting to the body. So my hip is working as well. Hand me, hip, connected to here, connected to my knee, connected to my toes, pushing my body weight down. Connecting the whole body. Okay, not just the arm. The arm itself on its own is strong at times, but quite weak as well. Okay, but if you want to make this block or any block work properly, connection, connection, pushing it all together. Let your body weight just drop. Okay, um, and, and that's that's what you're So, so your position again. So, we'll do a few of these going forward. So, white belts will just do the singular block. Blues, reds, and oranges the same. Step forward, get down right. Each. Okay, so. Um, if you're getting a bit sticky, a bit sweaty, then uh, you're still doing well. We've got about 15 minutes left. Well done. Just keep training. You're doing awesomely. So, uchiuki, inside your each. Hey, and stepping back, same, same thing. So remember, our hips are hand me. Okay, and then when we come back, hips square. Hand me, hand me, hand me. Target area is smaller. Step forwards, uchiuki, hand me. Step back, uchiuki. Forwards, uchiuki. And back, uchiuki. Forwards, uchiuki. And back, uchiuki. Hey, you ready? I'm ready. Awesome. Hey, you Okay, so yellows, uh, green belts, green and white stripes. Uh, same process as previous, the agiuki and the soto yuki. We're doing block, punch, block, okay, same format. So, Uchiuki, Gakazuki, Gidan, right. Step forward, each, yeah. Okay, Uchiuki first, underneath the armpit, drop those shoulders, ish, blocking, hand me, square the hips as we punch, Gidan, right, hand me. Uchiuki, each, Gakazuki, ni, and Gidan, right, son. Uchiuki, each, and Gekazuki ni, get and bry san. Uchiuki ich, Gekazuki ni, Gekazuki san. Ha, get and bry san. If I appear slightly distracted, I have a dog trying to kill a donut about two yards outside this door. And she's going to want to come in with it in a minute, I'm sure. Oh no, it's not a donut, it's a rabbit. Drop the donut, she's now got the rabbit. So I do apologise. <laughs> All I can see out the side of my head is my dog going round, going absolutely mental, um, which is not unusual uh, for Holly. Okay, so uh, layers. Hey, you always step forward, get under right, each. 
So uchi uki ish, uchi uki back knee. Uchi uki ich, kiyak zuki ginamurai. Uchi uki ich, kiyak zuki ginamurai. Hayami. Um, so you can imagine what the purple spouts are going to do now, so they're doing just uchuki gyakuzuki, but they must remember, change the arm, change the arm so we can get that gyakin nice and strong. Okay, so ready? Ayoi, and step forward down, get down the right, Okay, so uchi uki ish gyakuzuki. Step uchi uki gyakuzuki. A forwards, uchuki, gyakuzuki. And step back, uchuki, gyakuzuki. Hey, yame. Henry, os. The dog is now collapsed outside. She's not dead, don't worry. Uh, good, thank you, Isaac, for the feedback. That's very, very good. Oh, my goodness. Should we do Zoom or keep it like this? That would be my choice, Bron. Um, us, I need to work out how to do it first. I do have a laptop now. Uh, us, Andy, thank you very much. Um, I don't understand that, because I used to do things as a mirror image of you, but I don't know if that works for you or not, Andy. I hope it does. Um, us. I, I don't like teaching with my back to classes. I do know it definitely helps from a perspective if you're watching. Um, but I think... Uh, I was always taught uh, as, a, as a junior instructor that it's very poor form to constantly have your back to your class. Great, thanks Andy. <laughs> um, and uh, so I don't teach that way. I, I tend to teach face on. I do turn around to help students follow me, but I don't like teaching with my back away from, from, from the students. Um, I just think it's impersonal and a little bit rude, but probably really helpful <laughs> in some ways. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's just it's not, not my style. <laughs> Okay, anyway, step forward, gear down, right. Ich, yeah. So, again, connecting all three of those. Uchiuki, ish, uchiuki, uchiuki, ich, gakazuki, gear down, right. Remember, hips that hand me. Ish, uchiuki, gakazuki, square hips on the punch, gear down, right, hand me. Uchiuki, gakazuki, change the arms. Uchiuki, gakazuki, change the arms. So, we get into that mindset of understanding as a purple belt that we change the arms. And yummy. Anyway. Anyway. Awesome. Okay, so on to the brown belt part of this syllabus then. So uchiuki for brown belts. So ready? And yoi. And step forward, get under eye. So uchiuki. And me. Kizamazuki. Kizamazuki. Chat punch. Uchiuki. Uchiuki. Kazamazuki, Gakazuki. Now, I've asked, been asked this question many times, and I've asked this question myself many times. My old organisation, we used to do this in back stance, okay, then we used to do the Kazamazuki in the front stance. And the front foot movement enabled us to get the, the, the kime, the power, in our front punch. But, but in our current syllabus, we do Gedan Burai, uh, sorry, we do uh, Uchiuki in Zenka Stachi and Kazamazuki in Zenka Stachi. Okay, and the Gekazuki in Zenka Stachi. So, so, how does that work with our hips? It doesn't work brilliantly. So, if you remember what I said, so Ray, you always step forward, Gedan Burai, each hips are at hand me. Uchiuki, hips are at hand me. So if I just push my arm out now, Kazamazuki, it's, it's, it's okay if I relax and then I can get some power, it's all right. But I don't have my hip to help me. So I'm not really using my body uh, correctly. So it's good on this one to just use the front foot to push your other hip forwards. So Uchiuki Hami hip, push. Then you get a really good Gyakuzuki hip. Okay, so again, watch going backwards. Uchiuki. <coughs> Uchiuki, front foot. Front foot gives you that little bit more, more connection. So again, different sensations will teach that differently, but I, I think that gives you a little bit more, <coughs> bit more power, a bit more speed, makes more sense. 
Okay, Uchiuki, front foot, Gakuzuki, just to give that punch that little bit more uh, substance. Awesome. Okay, so let's connect all four of those. So Uchiuki as a white belt, blue, red, orange belt, one layer. Uchiuki, Gakuzuki, Gidanbrai, second layer, yellow, green. Uchiuki, Gakuzuki, third layer, uh, purple belts, purple white stripes. And then uh, Uchiuki, Kazami, Gakuzuki, brown belts to black belts. Okay, there's loads of other techniques we can add to this, and that's really what I was thought about doing this evening. But you know, I like to put Moshi Giri in on this particular technique. Um, but 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 actually, there's no point. We need to get the basics done first and get those right in our heads, so we're able to to, to one grade, but also uh, be correct. Okay, there's no point rushing to get a black belt. There's no point in rushing to get anywhere in karate. Everything takes time and practice, and that's what you need to remember. So, Yoi, step forward, Gidambarai, Ichi. Okay, so Uchi Uki, Uchi Uki, Ich. Hand back, knee. Ich. Locking, punching, locking. Knee. Locking, punching, locking. Sun. Lock and punch. Sun. Chi. Hey, Yamei. And Ray Os. And Inoi. Max. Okay, so you can see there Agiuki, Sotoryuki, Uchiuki, from beginner to black belt, grading syllabus. Okay, so that's what you need to do. Nothing deviates from that, you don't need to worry about uh, anything else, you just need to remember that. Important thing is, when you're on the final part, brown belt to black belt, so with those three techniques on that particular one, Uchiuki, Kazamazuki, Gekazuki, you don't forget Uchiuki, Gekazuki, and you don't forget Uchiuki on its own. You can't forget what you've learned before, because what you learned before got you to where you're learning now. Oh, that's good, that sounded good. But do you understand, I hope? With, with, without those connections of going backwards and forwards on your timeline, then, then your understanding of karate is not going to be right. And so I think it's important to um, remember what you've learned as a beginner and keep going back. Keep going back. I like my old belt. My old belt is going grey like me and white. It's almost be going to become a white belt, I think, probably in another 20 years. I've had it for a long time. Uh, about 16, 17 years, I think, um, reminds me of being a white belt because I can see the white bits and, and, and I never forget that. Uh, I never forget the struggles and battles I had as a white belt because they were what made me a good black belt. Well, I hope that's the case, maybe not. Um, but I feel, I feel that. And ultimately, it's, that's all that it matters, isn't it? It's how you feel as an individual, not to other people. Awesome. Hey. Okay, so let's connect all of those techniques, okay, in one nice long finish, okay, uh, just nice and slow speed, don't get in, not getting too hot, hopefully you're okay, just for another five minutes. So uh, again, remember, the karate begins and ends in a bow, so make sure you bow correctly, make sure you yoi correctly, hey yoi, make sure you're safe, make sure everything around you is okay, and step forward when you're ready, get under eye, come on, itch, Okay, so we're going to step forwards. Uh, first technique, Agiuki. Itch. Hey, and back, Agiuki. Then Agiuki, itch. Gakazuki, get under eye. Itch. Itch. Agiuki, Gakazuki. E. Agiuki, Gakazuki. Itch. Yuki Magari Yakazuki. Ish and Yuki Magari Yakazuki. Hayame. And change the legs. Ich. Agyuki. Ish. And back Agyuki. Agyuki. Ich. Yakazuki. Get on my knee. Sound. Hey, Yame. Hand ready. Hey, Oi. Hand step forward, get Amber Eye, left leg. 
Hidoriashi Ich Eyo Okay, Soto Ryuki Ich And back knee Ich Soto Ryuki Gakuzuki Giden Brai And knee Sun Shi Legs, Soto Ryuki, Ich, and back knee, Ich. Remember those drops and punch again, boy. Ich, knee, Ich, and knee. Last block, playing step forward, get under right. Itch, fia, uchi, uchi, uchi. Itch, me. Itch, block, punch, block, me. Sun, sun, she. Itch, uchi, uchi, itch, me, itch, block, punch, block, me, block, punch, block, itch, me, itch, me. Hey, 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 and then we relax. Okay, excellent, well done. Us. Okay, breathe in, just breathe in. Just bring your fists together, close them as you draw in a bit. So, and then open hands as you push out. So, draw in the breath almost as if you're grabbing into your and out. And in, and out, 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 and ready. Just ready, and ready. Okay, well done. Uh, hopefully you've got a little bit of a sweat on, same as me. Um, not quite as bad as it was on Saturday. <laughs> I've got to be honest, a little bit hot and sweatier doing that. I um, hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Um, I, I haven't been asked, and I think that's a really nice uh, uh, thing, to be perfectly honest, and that is about the June grading. Um, we missed the March grading, and it's almost 100% certain that we're going to miss the June grading. I, I don't want to think... I don't want anybody to think that they should be stopping karate or wanting to stop karate and they won't grade again. I promise you, you will. I promise you we'll have something in place as quickly as we can, okay? Because I know who's been training because you've been messaging me, etc. And I want you to get the next grade that you deserve. So we will ensure that you get given that opportunity some way, okay? And, and ensure that you get to, to the next part of your karate st uh, stage um, uh, as you well deserve. So from, from my perspective, I promise you and assure you that we will be doing that as quickly as we can. Um, and uh, uh, in terms of you being disadvantaged, um, there is no disadvantage. You're still training, you're still learning. What you wear around your waist is immaterial. Okay? To me, you're all black belts as it is because you carry on training. So I think it's really important for you to not worry about that. I do know that as a younger person, as a junior, it's, it's more difficult to understand. Okay, but you are training at home, online, outside a dojo, I think that's incredible. And you should be super proud of yourselves, because I am, I'm super proud of you. Um, and, and I just think very well, well, very well done. And that is self-grading. <laughs> so well, well done. Um, and continue, please. Don't stop. 
keep supporting the Sahi Shetakane Karate and uh, Sky England. Um, and we will, I uh, promise you, be there once as soon as we can. Um, I'm looking for different ways and obviously constantly keeping my ear to the ground uh, on the .gov website to find out more information about when we can get back into our dojos. But at this moment in time, that's just not possible. So we'll continue on this. Um, I need some, somebody who's intelligent out there to uh, tell me how to connect my laptop or get, I need to get a zoom on my laptop and then how do I get that to my TV? Um, and then I consider doing a Zoom lesson uh, as, as well as doing uh, this, this format. Um, please continue to look at the uh, Facebook page for, for updates. I'm trying to update it as much as I possibly can. Bye, Bron. Um, and I'm uh, you know, looking into doing other things, alternative things. I'm updating the website next. YouTube's got loads of stuff going on it, so please keep your eyes out for that and, and have a look. Uh, some good memory joggers there, some catters on there as well, really important to uh, just kind of get uh, get that sort of, um, uh, you know, help keep the mind going, doesn't it? Um, anyway, well, we'll finish there. See you on Thursday. Thursday we'll continue. Uh, we've got a couple more blocks to do, Gilambrai and Shuto uh, Uki, okay? And um, and then we, next week, we're going to do something completely different. So, Kyotsuke, nice and smart. And Ray, us, we'll finish with the Dojo-kun. Hitots Jinkan Kansei ni Soromoto Koto. Hitots Makato no Michio Mamoru Koto. Hitots Toriyoko no Seishin Yashinao Koto. Hitots Regio Monju Koto. Hitots Kekki no Yo Imashimuru Koto. Hamre, us. And there is actually a YouTube video of me doing the Dojo Kun and explaining what it means in English as well, which I will put up this week, I promise you. Us, uh, See you soon, or you soon say arigato gozaimasu, and uh, take care, be good, and keep safe, please. Jamatame, see you soon. Os, os, good night, come on, moi. Os, os.